can only technically put these in one way. Molex connectors are great that way. I used to deal with them a lot. And I just tuck these down um, so that they don't actually that's hitting the heat sink so that they don't touch the heat sink. And you can put them underneath this uh, the SATA cable. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm gonna bring this over here. Just kind of make it nice so it's not really touching anything that'll get hot, so it'll melt. Um, I believe these get warm. Uh, ram chips, and uh, I'm not sure what that one is, but this should be excuse me, this should be okay. Add that down, then we'll put in the fan. As you can see, I've got modded fans. Uh, they have blue LEDs, so it's has to match the rest of the uh, uh, match the rest of the colors. I had to it had an old Xbox connector. They ch switched these when they went to second generation heat sinks. They went to second generation fans, and so I actually had to rewire the fan myself because uh, I had the first generation I had bought previously for a friend's Xbox, and then it dot his box ended up dying. Um, not just Red Ring of Death, but it wouldn't even power on, so that just snaps in there. I'm going to connect this. Of course it does help to... Sometimes it helps to connect this first, but I'm confident enough that I don't need to. Oops, and make sure you put it on straight and not strip your wiring. I have to do this with my face in front of the camera. Uh, you could use a wrench for this as well. I'm going to twist that. And that's supposed to go on pretty easy like that. Okay. Then I'm going to put the... This is the wind tunnel. Put the wind tunnel and... It snaps down into the fan. Sometimes. Technically speaking, it's supposed to snap down. Now these fans, even though they're aftermarket, they tend to not line up with the snaps that are on the, the edge of the box, so sometimes you have to help it out. And then the disc. Make sure you put the right side out. And align it. I like to plug these in first, because then uh, there's no mistaking. I put the SATA in because it's got a little more slack than the power and make sure everything's out of the way align it should be aligned oh that's uh, might be a reason why not to put the LEDs right there alrighty well I'm going to peel these off and put them down a little bit further So if you have a light kit or something, just know that not to put it in the way of where the screw attaches here um, for the box. The box and the disc mounting. And that should be down. And then you got to align it with the holes that are in the front. There's that. Um, now what I forgot to do, apparently, is I forgot to screw in the uh, CPU and the GPU. And it's any normal mistake. Um, I can do that right now. I've got uh, a screwdriver kit. And you do want to screw them in because um, they will probably move if you don't. Not likely, but that just assures that the heat sinks won't move at all. And screw it in until it's tight. Don't over tighten it because you are screwing into. I think that those are aluminum. Um, you are also uh, assuring it that it's grounded. And, uh. Oh. I took off everything that I needed to to get that board out. Well, a lot of the. A lot of the one um, videos don't go through the whole this is what you got to do to take everything out so you can watch this to completely know what you need to do and 
grab a screw just till it's tight and stops. I just use a finger because this, even though this screwdriver is magnetic, it doesn't totally stop it. Totally, uh, I don't know if those screws are magnetic or what. Okay, just till where it's tight. Hold your drive. Now I'm going to put in, as you can notice, that on the front, on the front here, where the power button is and everything, that's this piece here you actually had to take out to get the board out. And that's just a, a plug-in peripheral, uh, which is really nice. I'm going to try and rest it up here, I'm gonna adjust the camera, and I uh, can't remember what size, if these are, these are the small ones as well. So just make sure you don't cross thread it too. You wanna want it to go in fairly smoothly. Um, I I didn't get the red ring of death on this one. Uh, the reason I didn't want to get the red ring of death, and so I decided to regrease it prior to the red ring of death. Uh, I used to call it the red ring of fire, but then the red ring of death caught on and I thought it sounded better. Anyway, um, and like that, and then I'm ready to start putting, uh, put the top on. That's my ghost case. That's pretty, that's pretty good right there. Um, I'm going to start by screwing this one in first and wherever my screwdriver went just so I can be sure um, if you have the original outside it'll snap right on these these uh, aftermarket cases have problems um, aligning correctly and getting everything perfect I'm gonna put the opposite screw in here. So I can make sure and um, usually if you can put the uh, ca uh, caddy corner screws in. Okay, this one's just going to keep turning because I've obviously tightened it too tight before. I'm going to do these. Those are the big long ones. And you want to put them on before you put the bottom on because the bottom just snaps on. Just tighten it. This is uh, this is the Xbox I'll use, be using for my LAN parties um, that I go to. Play, you know, Halo and you not know, really Battlefield because you can't do that LAN. Halo's great for that. Love LAN parties. I'm tighten that. And, and if you don't already own, this one's having alignment issues, if you don't already own a, uh, you know, so you can, I'm not out of the frame half the time, okay, don't tighten any tighter, um, if you didn't get a ghost case or an alternative case, and you don't own, well, it comes with, you got your Phillips head and your, this came with my kit. One of these tools is probably the best tool I've ever owned for rebuilding Xboxes because it aligns with the snaps in the back. And so you don't, I used to have to just use a small straight head and it was a pain in the butt. But now, this box is a little bit more flexible. Okay, I gotta, I'll put on put that on last. Bring this up. Um, you got the, don't forget to put the eject key. And you line it in. I'm just going to snap it. That should move freely like that. Before you put in the bottom because the bottom has locks on it that, or it has a front on it that you can't um, adjust that once that's in there. And do the back, front, 
it, and I had problems with the eject button working. I had to do some trimming on the the end here, uh, a little bit of modification to the modded case, and this should snap together. It looks like it's pretty much in already. And then put um, sorry, then put the bottom because there is no hole for the uh, put the little edge in the front put it in the hole snap it in I wish they would have included a clear one of these it would have been really awesome I think it would have been a lot better um, and then you get the one with the hard drive hole and you just put it in snap it in okay hard drive this is a 60 gig and then the front and we're done that's it and then uh, I'll just hook it up to my front TV and whoever wants to come over and play video games can do it awesome one for you out Hey everyone, awesome here. I'll, uh... Hey everyone, awesome here.